Strawberry fields consist of two and a half acres. It took two Italian craftsmen from Naples, Italy, 10 days to do this mosaic piece by piece. There is about 10,000 pieces in here. The design is also a design from the ruins of Pompeii. Now the road outside and the road inside in here is in shape of a teardrop. But when you follow this path to the end of the fence by that big <coughs> Christmas tree, there's a plaque in the rock of October 9th, John Lennon's birthday. But 1980-81, when Yoko Ono took a full page ad out in the New York Times, for all the countries that were listed then in the UN, which was 121 different countries. Now listed in alphabetical order, some of the countries today in a plaque do not really want to exist with peace anymore. Afghanistan's the first one on there. Remember back in 1980, there was also two Germanys back then. There are no strawberries here in Strawberry Fields except for what you see right there. And there are no strawberries neither in Strawberry Field in Liverpool. Now John Lennon lived across the street right there in the corner. But in the middle of the building where the arcway is, the two gas lanterns in the golden booth, inside that front corridor right there, unfortunately where he was assassinated. The seventh floor, which is the black metal fence that goes around the whole entire building, John owns. Yoko still lives there. It's not home. Sean lives downtown in Soho. Julian lives in Liverpool and also Los Angeles. But Julian has never lived there. The third and fourth windows facing the park with the white shutters with no black fence in front of it. That's the white room, that's the piano room. The second window facing the park on December 8th at 11.15 at night, Yoko or somebody else will light a candle for John. Now off and on for the past 20 years, but steady every day, just about for the past 13 years, I give you peace signs on this mosaic. Whether I give you one, two, or three, today happens to be one. Sometimes I'll give you a wave in the front or a wave in the back. Or like today, the yellow with the orange tulips going around the inner imagine symbolizes here comes the sun for George Harrison. Now, there are five statues in the world of John Lennon. One of those statues is supposed to be right over there behind my bench. But Yoko did not want to see her husband every time she came down here. So she chose to imagine instead. The reason the bottom line is she does not want any birds going to the bathroom on his head. So that statue's in Don Lennon International Airport, Liverpool, England. The other statue's in front of the cavern in Liverpool. The next statue's in Costa Rica. The next statue's in Peru. Now the next statue, everybody from the United States, we got a little problem. Via Mexico, say hello to Canada. Then you can say hello right here, 17, 16th Street. In John Lennon Park, Havana, Cuba. So I advise you to get there real quick. You ask that question to Raul and Castro yourself. Because those brothers, they're on their way, way out. And if anybody would like to make a wish for peace, please do so in that bandana right there, like other people do throughout the world. Peace and love, peace and happiness. Thank you very, very much for your time. Thank you. Welcome to New York, folks. Welcome to the jungle. And happy Easter to all. Peace out. Thank you.